Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you some friend mail from a real good, close, personal friend of ours, Sea Griller Stacker. Absolutely great channel to uh, go and check out. Sea Griller Stacker. His name will be in the title of this video, so go over and check him out. Please, please, please go over and check him out. Give him a subscribe. Tell him the big ugly tattooed guy sent you. That's right. Tell him Tiny sent you. What we're going to look at now is we're going to look at a professional coin grading service box. In case you folks haven't seen these before, these are the boxes that your graded coins that you send in for grading come back to you in. So they are a hard plastic. As you can hear, they have a lid that snaps on comes off you can see the different corrugated slots that go in here you can see this this is not a PCGS slab but it does fit in the box other slabs from other companies will fit in this box just make sure you test before you start jamming them in there make sure that they don't break and stuff like that he sent this a while back uh, he asked if anybody needed one and we definitely need one for some graded coins and he was uh, he was generous enough to send them out and I really appreciate that seed griller thank you buddy now with it he sent a couple little things first one if I can get it out of there is I'm going to show you first off it says right on the reverse of this I appreciate your support you're welcome buddy Always, always glad to help you out. Sea Griller Stacker, we the people, beautiful. History through coins, very, very informative channel when it comes to coin history. Sea Griller Stacker at gmail.com. If you have any questions about his videos, coin collecting can be fun, but if you're not careful, you might learn something. Very nice saying, I like it. See here the PCGS on the top. You can see that the gold is missing from this a little bit. That is my fault. I will rectify that. I will repaint this with the gold. Uh, the cleaning product that I used to wipe this off the top with uh, took some of the gold paint off. So that's, that's my fault. He sent this to me in pristine condition. Now, if you'll notice, see these little bumps, nubs, whatever you want to call them? On the four corners that is because on the underside of these there are these little dimples and if you were to have another box underneath it they fit in there and you can stack them see or if you were just using it and you didn't want to get the lid out of sorts see it keeps it in there nice and tight very nice, very nice design from uh, PCGS. Now, NGC also makes these. Some other coin companies make theirs for their products. But, like I said, this just happens to be a PCGS. And you can hold how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Hey, look, I can count. 20 slabs in this holder. And other than this beautiful little business card type advertisement, he sent a self-slabbed coin that is absolutely gorgeous. Now, I'm going to stand up out of my chair, get this in here so I can see it good. Let's give it a little focus here. That, folks, like it says there, is a 1944 Denver Mercury Dime Full Split Bands BU. You can see the condition of that coin. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful coin. Absolutely beautiful. Very, very nice. Thank you, Sea Griller Stacker. And just like this, slides right down in there perfectly. This is a self-made slab, like I said. You can see that it fits. 
NGC will also fit in here, PCGS Annex, they will all fit in the PCGS holders. Now, NGC, sometimes the other ones don't fit in NGC, so you'll just have to do your due diligence and feel out if they're going to fit or not, you know, ask someone else that knows. I cannot remember right off the top of my head, but I do not think PCGS slabs will fit in an NGC holder. But the NGC will fit in a PCGS holder. So, if you're wondering about dimensions, we have, if I would turn the ruler the correct way, we have a little under nine inches. What is that? Seven eighths, what it looks like. We have seven eighths of an inch by a little over two and a half, a little under three, a little under two and three quarter, a little over two and a half, so that's what? Five-eighths, yes, two and five-eighths. And tall, I know from experience, it is three and a half inches tall. Get the zero on there, three and a half inches tall. I can't see that, so I'll put that up there, three and a half inches tall. Very sturdy boxes, I mean, they are, and the coins do not rattle in the slabs. Well, not in the slabs. The slabs do not rattle in the boxes. These are very, very nice ways to keep your slab coins. I think I've ran my mouth enough. We've got uh, close to seven minutes, and it'll take just about seven minutes. You guys have a good day. Like I said, go over and check out C Griller Stacker's channel, History Through Coinage absolutely great channel even better guy i don't think uh anyone would be amiss for going over and checking out his channel tell him tiny sent you i love each and every one of you and i hope this finds you guys safe and healthy you guys don't forget to check that pocket change because you never know what you got in your pocket until you look